Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video. I will show you what is new on this version 2020 of FSI Panel. First of all, the requirements. You need to have Prepare 3D version 4 or version 5 installed on a 64-bit operating system. There is a couple of aircraft compatible with this release. Those are the PMDGs 737, 747, 777, the Majestic Dash 8 400 Pro and Pilot versions. We have as well the Leonardo Mad Dog MD82, 83 and 88, and the Airbuses from Aerosoft 319, 320, 321, as well as the new A330 Pro series. And we have as well a couple of general aviation aircraft from A to A, the Cessna 172, Cessna 182, the Piper Cherokee and the Piper Comanche. So this is for the aircraft that are compatible with this version of FSI panel. And now what is new? If you're used to the old version of FSI panel, version 1 or version 2017, we used to reload scenario, reload flight. And after one or two approaches, usually we might end up in a crash to desktop. Now, with the new version, there is no more flight reloading. Everything is done using the add-on SDK. So basically, you could fly as many approaches as you want. There is no need anymore to import aircraft. So you can basically fly any aircraft you like, any liveries, without having to import these aircraft into the program. We have an after landing flow, which means after your landing, when you vacate your runway, you just have to retract your flaps one step and FSI panel will take over for the after landing flow, letting you taxi the airplane safely to your gate. We have as well a possibility to export and import snapshots. So you could save your snapshot and export it to your friend or to the community. And those snapshots are compatible with any series and any livery. For example, if I take a snapshot on a 737-800, and I share it with my friends, they could use that challenging scenario on any 737, 600, 700, 800, or 900, and any liveries they want. So this is something new as well. Let me show you right away how we use FSI Panel 2020. As you can see on the main screen now, I just started the program. We have detected compatible aircraft not applicable on the bottom left of the screen. So what I need to do is open any aircraft in P3D. So let's do that now. I have my P3D. I will select for this uh, sessions a 737 or 747. Let's take a 747. You don't need to worry about the place. So I just leave it in the uh, actual default airport of P3D, which is, as you can see here, Kilo Romeo November Delta Universal City. We click OK. And now the simulator will load. So when the simulator loads, we should get normally detected compatible aircraft, a 747. Let's see if that happened. Yes, now we can see PMDG 747-400. So let me bring the simulator into view for you. In the simulator now, what is important is to let the system initialize. As you can see here, around 12 seconds to go. And another thing, now we can train any weight. So basically now, by default, PMDG, when you load the aircraft, you have, you have sorry, uh, eight full tanks of fuel most of the time, and the aircraft might be overweight. So if we don't change anything, we might be overweight for our training. So either we change it with the uh, FMC or FSI panel will be able to do it later on. I will show you how to do that. Another important point, the engine must be running. So to run the engine, the best way is to use the panel state of FSA, of, uh, sorry, PMDG. So going there, I will select state panel load and I will take the default, execute, and that will basically start my engine. We see now that the engine are starting. So while PMDG is doing that job, let's go back to FSI panel and see what we can do. So I will leave the aircraft, uh, sorry, the airport as it is here. I don't need to change it. Let's try a single a simple left-hand vectors. We can see that we have flaps 30 and left-hand vectors, everything looks good. Let's see if my PMDG is ready now. 
engines are running, everything looks good. So we're going to click on move aircraft. And now, as you can see, I have this warning that my aircraft is overweight. So I have three options. Either I accept the overweight, which is not recommended, or I can set max landing weight, or even better, I can set the load myself. So I will go new load. And you can see here that a default fuel of 20 tons is offered here and the actual zero fuel weight of the aircraft. So you can change that as you like, more or less fuel as you like. So here I will take something like that. We have 231 tons and I just have to click on update load. Now we will be back any seconds into FSI panel and let's see how that work. So we are back to the simulator. You can see that the flaps are set now to five. As always, do not touch anything. Just wait. So now FSI panel is putting the aircraft in a, in a vector. So we can see that the gear is going up. We can see the modes are set. You can see as well on the right FMC that your FMC is programmed. We just monitor what's happening there. And you can see your route is there for the runway that we have selected. And we should be ready to fly in, in the next 10 seconds. So you see the altitude 3100 looks good. My control moving your aircraft in position. This is the message of FSI panel. So as long as you have this message, do not touch anything. And now aircraft is ready for your training. Hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So I just hold my brake. I have control and now I can arm the approach and the aircraft will basically fly the approach. Another thing we can do, let's, let's do a short final. We want to do a short final, so I'll go back to FSI panel. I will select short final and move aircraft. Before I do that, let me show you the options that we have. If we go to PMDG for the 747, we can here select program FMC or not. It's up to you whether you want FSI panel to program your FMC. Do you want the direct point to be the runway or final approach fix? And this is the type of approach. So if I select, for example, Zurich Airport runway 14, this is the priority order. So basically, FSI panel will look for an ILS approach. If it finds an ILS approach, then ILS 14 will be programmed. If not, it will look for localizer, if not for air nav, and if not for VORDME. Then we have the default auto break of 1, 2, 3, 4, and the default landing flaps, 25 or 30, and at the end, the after landing flow. If you want the first officer, FSI panel, to do your after landing flow so that you can taxi your airplane safely without having to look up or down. So let's try a short final. I click on move aircraft. We were in the middle of a flight. You can see now that the flaps will be moving to 30. The speed is reducing and we are on final. So we don't touch anything. We let FSI panel do the work. Now the FMC has been programmed. We have now the FMC for the ILS 14, ILS sorry at 3 3 left there. The speed will be set and will be ready to fly. So at this stage, when you have the message ready to fly, you can still program everything in your FMC. So, for example, now, if I want to change my arrival here, or I want to put a direct to the runway so that I have my missed approach and everything is set up, I can do it. I have no problem to do anything like that. And then I could even take a snapshot. A snapshot means an actual picture of your situations so that you can reload that situation later on. So this is what you can do with FSI panel 2020. So let's try a snapshot. Now I'm ready here. So to take a snapshot, uh, very easy. Take snapshot. We're going to name this one as a test. Here you can put the description for your friend. Short final test, for example. I can decide to save with the weather. So it means your friends or the community will fly with the same weather as you have. Or without the weather, they can choose their own weather. So let's save without weather. Now, if I go back to P3D, I see here saving snapshot, please stand by. So that takes around 15 seconds.
and we will have the aircraft ready to fly. Okay, so I'm ready to fly this approach. Let's fly this approach, see our landing report, how it looks like, and then we will test as well the after landing flow. So I'm gonna fly this approach, and on short funnel, we are going to float a little bit to make sure we have a bad landing in the landing report so that we can test as well uh, the landing report. So now we are glass slope capture, Mr. approach altitude set. You see that the FSI panel have, has set everything for you. So basically we just have to fly it down. So I will disconnect autopilot and I'm going to fly it down. I will take auto throttle off as well. And let's, let's do some uh, basic mistake. We are going to be a little bit high on final and we will do a long landing. Okay, so we will stay high on purpose to show our landing performance that needs training. Basically, I will land just after the touchdown zone, which is 900 meters on the long runway. So let's try to land just at the end of the touchdown zone. I will try to land at 1,160 meters. Long landing, yeah. Close. And we are. Reverses. Manual braking. You can see on top of your screen now we have a quick landing report. A summary of what we've done. The landing distance is 934 meters. Okay, and now let's see what's happening. My speed should be less than 30 knots, which is the case right now. I will just retract my flaps by one step and now you can see FSI panel is doing the job for us. Oh, the flaps are moving up, the APU will be started, you just have to taxi your plane and your first officer FSI panel will basically take care of the after landing flow. So this is something new on FSI panel 2020, I will stop here now set my brake and let's have a look in FSI panel, the landing report. We can see that I was a bit left of center line, that I was long landing. I have the summary so we can see intercept from the autopilot a bit high, then I went on purpose a bit high and we landed high. So this is where you can improve your landing. Now if we would go on a snapshot, we could import a snapshot by going to load snapshot. This is a test that I've made in Zurich, so let's import that thing, that, 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 that uh, approach, select, I'll be in Zurich as you can see, and I will click move aircraft, and we should be in Zurich with the all FMC setup with the actual weather which was foggy, and this is a star arrival, so we should have the whole routing program for us normally, so let's see if that works, we can see already some routing there, as long as you have here the initialization, do not touch anything. We just let FSI panel do the job and PMDG do the job. And now you see your gear is reset. Now the altitude 7,000 feet should be maintained. So the auto throttle is coming. We are 7,000 feet. If I look my FMC, I have my routing all the way to landings. I have my approach speed, which are set. And I will get the control in any seconds from FSI panel. So just wait always for the message here that you have control. See the altitude now is coming to 7,000 feet. This is what we are looking for. <coughs> and then we will get the control and we'll be, we'll be able, sorry, to fly this approach. That's it, aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake to take control. So I will hold my brake and I will go Elnav Vinav 
descend the altitude to 4,000 feet and my aircraft is flying, I'm ready to do this approach. Another new feature that I want to show you guys on FSI panel 2020 is the failure. You see that we have either select a system so we can select where we want the failure and then we can either arm it for my next flight or arm it right now. I can have TCAS as well, either a resolution advisory or a traffic advisory so and a failure. So let's say I want to have um, what could we do? An hydraulic problem right now. Then we should get a problem in FSI panel. We have a failure. So what is the failure? We see that we get hydraulic pressure engine number two. So now we'll pick up the QRH and we're going to take care of that with the PMDG document. So this is the way you can add failures. So if you look into the failures, we can either select a random failure for next flight or random failure just now or a TCAS. So let's say we want to do a traffic advisory or a resolution advisory, make a resolution advisory. So if, we, if I go back to the simulator, we see a traffic is coming. I can see it coming on the TCAS. Traffic. Getting ready to disconnect autopilot. Will be in fact better if I can see climb. So I'll disconnect autopilot and climb. Now we should be clear of conflict clear of conflict, returning to 7,000 7, feet. So this is what you can do now with FSI panel 2020. So guys, I hope you like this video. And the new channel on YouTube will have a lot of video available for you and tutorial how to use the uh, new version as well as training scenario, which will include failures now. So we will be able to import training scenario which have failures included. So this is the new thing about FSI panel 2020. Thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, continue to do safe landing and see you soon. Bye-bye.